Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about differences. Differences. We all have them. We all have differences. We all do have differences. Yes, you and me are um, different. This is not one of them. We are really on key with this one. Okay. We're not talking about differences, we're talking about differential. Difference. Do you, you want to take different? Difference, y'all. Difference, y'all. That's what I said. From the south, right? Yeah, difference, y'all. Okay, so if you're flying a plane from the south, I, I can't even go there. I can't, I can't try to make that work. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm differentials. Sorry. Differential. Differential. Okay. Yeah, singular. Fine. Uh, basically, want to take a guess what differential is? It's the difference between planes and helicopters, helicopters and boats, boats and cars. Difference, y'all. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> basically, what you got on here's a circumstance. You have an airplane with ailerons on the outer portions of the wings. Oftentimes, things like uh, Piper Cubs, um, pattern shifts for that matter, 3D planes, you got just differential, and even sailplanes. Uh, for that matter, also flying wings without the fins. Oftentimes, you'll have to make some adjustments to differential. This is a sailplane, obviously. It's borderline hotliner. As you can see, the ailerons are on the outer portions. What we want to always get when we have ailerons is a true axial roll. You don't want the plane to bank off and, and give you awkward angles whenever you use the uh, ailerons. Because then you got to correspond with rudder. Well, sometimes planes don't have rudders. This one doesn't. This one does not have a rudder. But you know what? We have a computerized radio, and that's a good thing because basically what we can do is we can tell this plane to lift up this aileron more and this aileron less. You want to know why we do that? Because we can. Because we can. Okay. Difference, y'all. Here's a circumstance. Basically, when you're flying an airplane like this and you give it aileron, normally this aileron goes up, which is forcing this wing down. This one goes down, which is forcing this wing up, and it banks, okay? Got Here's it. the problem. This bites more air, which oftentimes causes the bank but it also causes the swing to drag mm. which pulls it this way yeah it gives you something called adverse y'all you want to guess what adverse y'all is adverse y'all you like those southern terms don't you yeah adverse y'all is basically what i just showed you basically this wing tip even though it's going up it's catching and it's actually counteracting with the direction you probably would like to go or the orientation of the airplane this is when all of a sudden you have to start shoving in rudder then to get this nose around because the adverse y'all is causing to want to turn to the left it's the tendency for the nose of the plane to pitch to the mm. uh, wing that's dropping the aileron sorry i was yelling he go was ahead. yelling go ahead okay are you done now? Yep. Good. You, you wait. Do you need some coffee? I'm good. Okay, we're good. There's a simple way to overcome this problem. Basically, when you program your differential, what you're going to be programming is you're going to be programming one aileron to go down less and one aileron to go up more. And obviously, it goes both ways. So whenever I give a right input, this is going to be pushing the swing down. This is going to also be pushing the swing up, but the drag is going to be sufficiently less. Okay. okay? Now. On my flying wing, I got a really big flying wing at home. It's a legit flying wing with no wing plates. I actually have where this only goes up and this doesn't move at all because the adverse yaw is so great and it's so far out in the wingtips, um, it, it's near impossible to fly unless you have differential programmed in. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So basically, let me uh, show it to the side. This is going to go up, push your wing down. This is going to go down less and then less drag. Your, less drag on this wing. You got it, man. Got you it. You couldn't have said it better. Now, one nice thing is, is depending on your flying with different speeds, adverse yaw is a different effect. With most computer radios, you can switch it on and switch it off depending on the kind of flying you want to do. Okay. Okay. Also, nice thing is you have a plane that you always have to mix uh, rudder on to fly it, where you always have to fly coordinated. Oftentimes, by playing around with your differential, you can make it so it's pretty much a bank, bank and yank, bank and yank Got airplane. It. Yes. All right, we're learning. We are learning. We're doing really good. Now, let's go ahead and recap. You want to tell them what we talked about? Yes. What we've done is we've adjusted so that when you go to make a turn, this one goes up more. This one comes down less, so that way it pushes this wing down real nice just the way you want it to, but it doesn't give you any drag, okay? And vice versa. If you do it the other way, you're going to have no drag, less drag over here, and just a great, great turning aero, aeroplane, turning circles, and no drag. It ain't going to be no drag, y'all. Ain't going to be no drag, y'all. Yeah. Well, boy, oh, boy, you couldn't have said it better myself. Boy, oh, boy, I couldn't. Yeah, that was awesome. That yeah. was really awesome. Well, do you want to fly it? Yeah. Well, too bad. We're up on this hill basically because it's beautiful. We're not going to fly off this hill. This is not the terrain. Not the terrain we want. It's quite windy and quite turbulent in this area. But yeah. we do want to thank Hobby Kink for bringing us out to this nice warm environment where we can do reviews on the side of hills and talk about differential. Yeah. And we want to thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time. All right. Yeah. Are you sure I can't fly? I... No. I'll just give it a toss. Don't do it. Don't. Gee, gee.